TitleMatchNetwork.com. I was with him when he came into San Antonio territory. Me and Tony were here wrestling as a grapplers. I remember he came in, and then uh, and then he was uh, also he did TV for Mid South when I was over there too. And uh, but I mean he was just I wasn't a, he wasn't there. He was in and out or just doing like show every now and then at that time. I don't think he was hired full time, so he never rode with us or nothing. But um, when he when he first started in San Antonio, he was like, yeah, you know, I guess he was a star athlete in high school and all that. So he was like kind of cocky. And I, you know, when I met him. I said, hey, believe me, they'll straighten that out. You know, you're in the pro business now. It's, everybody's tough here, okay? And so he goes. Uh, but then you know, later on, I seen yeah, he was a different guy. Once he went, <laughs> I'm sure a few guys straightened that that ego out. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't have run him enough to really say what kind of personality he had or nothing, you know. Did you see early on, though, like signs that he would be? Well, he had, well, he had looked apart. You know, he was talented. He was still a good athlete. But, uh, I mean, I was just around him briefly. I didn't, to make an opinion on if he'd make it or not, I wouldn't, you know, I wasn't sure. But, uh, but I mean, he had what it, I mean, he had the look, he had everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have any experiences with um, with the Undertaker while you were in Texas? Mark, uh, Mark well, Calloway. Yeah, um, I uh, well, I met him before he got in the business. Well, I was um, um, working for uh, for you know for Dallas for Fritz, right? And uh, <clears throat> I lived in Fort Worth and used to go to the gym. And I think it was a Bally's that we used there, and, and he worked there. And so I was working out, me and John Nord. And he come over, hey grappler, and he was a big old tall skinny basketball player at that time. <laughs> and he goes, hey grappler, he says, man, listen, uh, I'm thinking about getting in the business in wrestling. Could you train me? And I said, brother, I'm booked. I was booked every day. I said, how would I train somebody? <laughs> I don't have really time to do that, and I don't have a ring or nothing, you know, my own ring. I said, but I tell you what, go over, and I sent him to Gary Hart and to uh, Akbar because they were doing a school and they're using the ring in the sport, uh, sportatorium, you know. And so that's how he started. That's where he went. And so, yeah, but, and then also like a year later, I go, holy cow, that's that guy that asked me to train him. I couldn't believe it. You know, but he's a good, he had a way to it right off, man. He, you know, he just adapted to it like, you know, easily. You know? Hello, folks. This is a grappler right here at Title Match Network. Let me tell you something. You're going to be seeing a lot of me. And you know what? We're going to bring all kinds of stories to you. But if you've got any questions, subscribe here. We'll bring you the answers and tell you every story you want to hear. And believe me, when I get through telling you, you will say the greatest story ever told on Title Match Network is from the grappler. Beat that if you can.